Hello, this is Craig, and I thought I would show you some of the technical details about editing meshes here in Unity's, Unity's play mode. Uh, now, the idea behind this is that you'll be able to either change the morphology of your character to your liking beyond the simple uh, fat, skinny, strong, weak, female, masculine uh, tweaks and actually create a unique character with a unique shape. It's also useful for things like pants and shirts that have uh, deforms that are applied, such as sleeves. But one of the issues that you have when you do it is that Unity's normal recalculation splits on the UV seam. So you can see how there's this seam here and up here too. Um, and that's bad. So I actually went ahead and created my own recalculate normal system which uh, recombines the split uh, elements, the split vertices. Uh, that does mean that your normals end up looking a little bit different. Uh, you see how they all shifted all of a sudden? Um, and I may change that out later. Uh, uh, but fundamentally, this doesn't have the same seam warping problems. Um, and I think that the big difference between the way I'm doing it and the way they're doing it is that uh, I probably am weighting it differently, because I'm doing a flat average, and they're probably doing some kind of uh, maximum angle average well, either way, um, so I've got a couple of kinds of deforms. So if you're trying to use a sleeve, you would do something like this, where you'd create something that looks like a sleeve. Uh, but there are some issues with that, because I don't have the ability to create sharp, clean edges yet. Um, that requires adding vertices to the mesh, which I haven't gotten to. Another problem is that when you increase the size of things, like this, uh, it doesn't appear very organic. It appears very spiky. And this is a low-poly model, so there's going to be some spikiness, but um, we don't want it to look like this hideous thing. So I need to create some kind of organic uh, smoothing and fusing system. I do have it so that you can you know, erase your mods uh, and bring them back. So here you can see me literally erasing the modifications I made. And of course, you can change the brush width if you want to do finer details or less fine details. Um, all in all, it's becoming hopeful. I'm going to add a whole bunch of features such as uh, the ability to hold down X, Y, or Z to ignore that axis. And the reason I want to do that is so that you can create cuffs properly. So if you were to ignore the X axis when you were doing something down here, um, you'd probably actually have only the y-axis matter, and the whole point would be that you would be belling out the uh, uh, the cuffs on both legs at the same rate, and then you could adjust them one by one if you wanted to. So those are the sorts of things that I'm having trouble with. Uh, it's nothing that is, uh, you know, a, 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 an oh my gosh, you can't do that. Uh, I didn't think you could, you know, it turns out you can't do it that way. All of them are easy enough to do. Um, once I understand the exact ways I want to let the player actually do the modifications. Um, and everything else is just details that, of implementation that may or may not end up working out properly. Um, there are a couple of other things that I might do. For example, right now when I'm doing mirror mode, I actually do a, a mirror mode that does not... Uh, it mirrors the brushes rather than the vertices. So as you can see, you can develop very slight uh, irregularities depending on uh, the vagaries of floating point math. And those can grow into those kinds of weird irregularities like that spike on the face that I had earlier. So those are all things that I have to consider. Um, but overall, it looks like it's developing quite easily, and I've got a framework in place. Oh yeah, and you can also, if you, I'm not erasing it, I'm retracting it, so I can then unretract it. But uh, uh, as I was saying, you can, um, I've forgotten what I was saying. Oh yeah, you can save the, mo the mods to the database and load them up and associate them with specific clothes and so on and so forth. So for example, you could have a fat suit or a skinny suit. Um, and I think that that adds a lot of potential to the avatar creation toolkit. But it needs a lot of refinement first.